Hello dear viewers and welcome back to a death battle prediction video and I'm going to make this one quick because this is just really really bad. This is a spite of epic proportions. Death battle being the geniuses that they are failed to do any research or take into account any compatibility concerns. I'm going to call it right now. American Dragon Jake has no chance against Danny Phantom. None whatsoever. He barely has any powers and barely has any feats. His powers range from transformation, enhanced senses, enhanced strength, and being able to manipulate fire and has fire resistance. That's it. That's all he can do. Meanwhile, you have Danny Phantom over here with an extremely long list of abilities, and not to mention Danny Phantom also has more feats, where American Dragon Jake barely has any. To put into perspective, American Dragon Jake's best speed feat is flying from New York to Greenland in a single night. A feat that is at best supersonic speeds. I will leave the math here if you're interested in the calculations. Meanwhile, we have Danny Phantom, who at the very lowest, while some say he's FTL, at the very lowest, even if you lowball the crap out of Danny Phantom, which I promise you, Death Battle is going to have to do some serious Naruto versus Ichigo level lowballing to make this fight work, Danny Phantom at the lowest can dodge lightning. Already, that's a problem. Lightning is at the very lowest in the hypersonic ranges. That is a huge problem. Also, Danny Phantom can scale to ghosts in his universe that have the ability to create realms with stars within these realms, which could be considered solar system level. However, even if you say that that's a highball, which that may very well be the case, I won't get too deep into that here because this isn't a power scale of Danny Phantom, but if you guys are interested in that, I can save that for another day. Point being that Danny Phantom is superior in every single way. American Dragon Jake does not have one advantage against Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom has more powers more feats and is vastly superior in every single category from speed to strength. It is absolutely absurd that Death Battle did no research and did not anticipate this whatsoever. This is what I'm talking about when I mean that Death Battle, it feels like they just pull these out of a hat. Not to mention that Danny Phantom has three types of immortality and is a ghost meaning he can turn intangible and possess other people's bodies he can even manipulate other objects through a form of telepathy with his ghost powers what chance does american dragon jake have against danny phantom realistically he wouldn't even be able to land a single hit on him because he could just go intangible any single time he tried and even then american dragon jake is far too slow realistically he wouldn't even be able to react to any of danny's attacks and not to mention he would have absolutely no way of killing Danny Phantom because he is not only half ghost, but like I said before, he has three forms of immortality which we can go over because it is absolutely absurd that this was not taken into account by Death Battle. Like, this just drives me freaking nuts. So, one of the forms of immortality that he has is eternal life. It's one of the lowest forms. However, he also has what is known as parasitic immortality, meaning the character is able to attain a sort of immortality by abandoning bodies whenever necessary to transfer their consciousness to the body. Rather, they are possessing someone else or switching to a backup body. 
An example of this is, of course, Jason Voorhees. Now, for my fellow horror fans watching, as we know, in Friday the 13th Part 9, it was revealed that Jason Voorhees has the ability to swap from body to body. Even if you kill him or destroy that body, he can simply transfer into another one. Danny Phantom has this same degree of immortality. Not to mention, he also has type 3 immortality, which is immortality through regeneration. Characters with this type of immortality can simply regenerate from wounds that would normally be lethal, though its effectiveness depend on the degree of regeneration that the character has. So either way you slice it, American Dragon Jake is completely screwed. He's not going to win this fight. It is absolutely absurd to think that this is a fair fight in any capacity whatsoever. I can't fathom what Death Battle is thinking here. Then again, this is typical Death Battle at this point, so I'm not surprised. And you can count on the fact that if Danny Phantom does lose, they're going to pull a Naruto versus Ichigo. I can promise you that much. This is going to be bad. Really, really bad. I, the only thing I could see maybe being decent is the fight itself. However, I'm not going to be able to enjoy the fight because in the back of my head, I know American Dragon Jake realistically can't do anything to Danny Phantom. So I would ask, what is the point of this death battle? For what reason should Danny Phantom fight American Dragon Jake? Why not Yusuke? Why not Ichigo? Why not any other character that would make more sense than American Dragon Jake? Could you at least not put him against another astral being? There are plenty of characters out there that are astral beings and could realistically fight Danny Phantom. The characters from Soul Eater, the Soul Reapers from Bleach, the Servants from the Fate series. Any of these would be a better choice, but... No, in typical death battle fashion, they most likely pulled this from their own forum page and just went with it because death battle at this point doesn't care about giving us quality fights. But that's just my thoughts on that. What do you think about Danny Phantom vs. American Dragon Jake? Do you think that I'm being unfair? and that this is more even than I thought. Maybe the power scale and research I found for these two characters is slightly off. Maybe Danny Phantom was highballed and Jake was lowballed. Let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in about two or three days for this train wreck of a death battle.